What's up, down, up, down, everybody? This is Dying Rock from the Average Adult Gamers, and today I am bringing you my first Black Ops video, my first little tip video, and it is the Gold Crossbow. Look how sexy that is. I got it legit. You don't know how many hours I put into getting this thing. It takes so long to get, but I do have a little trick. I do have a little trick, and I'm going to show that to you guys here in a couple minutes. But first, let's just take a look at this gameplay with this little sexy gold crossbow. I mean, I can't even... Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. And um, it's it's pretty hard to get. Uh, you have to, you know, do the normal things. You have to get 300 kills with it. And then there's a couple other challenges. And um, I'll go into that with you guys here in a little bit as well. Um, but, but yeah, so I, I, I'm sorry we haven't put out any videos. We have just been so intense and in trying to play this game. I have the uh, Type 25 gold. I have the MP7 gold. And now I finally got this just today. I got the crossbow gold. I was waiting on this last challenge where you have to put every bolt in a clip into somebody. You have to kill somebody with every bolt in a clip. And that is three kills in a row. And that was tough to do, guys. It was very tough to do. But, um, so yeah, look look at this thing. It is beautiful. Beautiful. This is a pretty good map for it, too, by the way. Um, I had some fun here. It's got a lot, lots of long lines of sight. And, um, you have a good chance of catching somebody running. Um, or catching somebody sitting still like that. But I missed. And, um, yeah, I would definitely... This is a good map for it. Um, and I, I just... I had a little highlight reel here that I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys this real fast. Um, I pull out the tag knife. And I see this guy, and I'm going to go for him, and I get a bam. And I'm just going to keep running around here, and uh, I'm like, well, let me pull out this crossbow. Or, yeah, the crossbow, because, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get some crossbow kills, and I miss that guy. But I know he's running this way. I know he's running over here to the right, so I get him. Bam, stuck. And then I see this other guy on the radar, and bam, shoot him. And I see somebody else shooting at me, climb up on this wing, and boo yeah, I'll get him in the head. And um, so, yeah, that's how it's done. And, uh... Just a couple seconds, I'm going to tell you guys how to make this happen. Alright, so, everybody wants to know, how do you get this thing gold? How do you get the gold crossbow? Well, let's take a look. So you come down here into your class, and then you go down to your secondary, you personalize weapon, and you take a look here. So most of these things were normal, you know, 25 kills, 50 kills, etc, etc, all the way up to 300 kills. Now that took a long time, that was pretty painstaking. I played a lot of Nuketown while it was Nuketown 24-7, and that kind of seemed to help out. Now, we'll get into the secondary challenges. The first one was carbon fiber, and it's one double kill medal with a crossbow. Not too bad. Five revenge medals with a crossbow. That wasn't too bad at all either. The get one kill from a car using the crossbow, that was very, very easy. I think anybody can get that one done in a, in a, in a limited amount of time. This one was pretty tough. Get bloodthirsty medal using only crossbow. And I actually don't even remember how it happened. I just seen it pop up once, and I loved it. Um, I know you can use scavenger and try to make that happen, and um, I, I don't know. It's not too hard, but let's, let's move on to the one that I think was most difficult. Skulls. This was my nemesis. Get a kill with every round and a clip from your crossbow. Now, I tried for hours and hours and hours to make this happen, pulling my hair out. I didn't know what to do, and then I finally just sat down, I, I gave it a rest, and I went to sleep, and I thought about it, and I woke up, and I was like, I got it. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones is how you get this thing gold. All it, It's very simple. Everybody's on the same playing field. And um, I got in there on a sticks and stones thing. I played for probably um, two or three games, and I made it happen. Sticks and stones is how you get this final achievement, which allows you to have gold. So that's pretty awesome. And I bet it would probably help out here with the Ronin as well, which is the Bloodthirsty. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip, this pro tip. Go to Sticks and Stones, and I'm pretty sure it'll probably be the same thing with a ballistic knife when you're trying to get that thing gold as well. So, think about, think about the average adult gamers whenever you're trying to get these things gold. And I uh, hope you guys like this video, and uh, up, down, up, down.